Hi, I'm Chelsea. My pronouns are they, them, there, and c'est ça, c'est. And at Aviva, for the past years, I've worked in annuities, but at the moment, I'm on what's called a tap into talent in our inclusions team. I was educated in Germany, both school and university. I didn't come out, I didn't really understand my identity. It wasn't really a topic growing up. I moved to England more or less on the whim. When I moved here, I first started working in retail, although there, unfortunately, I did experience some homophobia. Then through a friend, I came to Aviva and I've been here for seven years. It actually felt quite nice for the first time in my life to be open because I wasn't at school, I wasn't at university. So this was the first time I could actually be myself and that felt really liberating. Something that I do is that I develop and deliver LGBTQ plus workshops around the business. So for Pride Month 2020, 22, I did a company-wide digital workshop called Breaking the Stigma about Asexuality. And we also have an asexual group at Aviva. That's something that's brought me great joy. I've always been non-binary, but I just didn't have the words to describe myself. I felt like I'd finally found something that resonated with me. I finally found a way to put into words how I was feeling. I first came out to a few friends and then eventually decided I wanted to be out at work as well. From that moment on, I really felt like I could be myself and I kind of made it my mission to bring more education um, and awareness to non-binary and trans identities at work together with many of my fantastic colleagues. A couple years ago, I became one of the steer co-members of our Aviva Pride steering committee. I think it's opened a lot of doors for me and especially I've been able to establish a fantastic network of people and learn so much myself about other people's stories stories about other people's identities and backgrounds, so it's been an incredible learning journey for me. There is a lot to do still across the entire industry, but there has been an increase in understanding and trying to implement a culture to see difference as valuable. I am neurodivergent as well. It is something that I think has taken me the longest to come around and understand, but I'm at a point now where I really embrace it. Don't be afraid to be fully yourself to embrace the strengths that you have. Also be honest about the support that you need. Don't think that you have to put yourself in a box that confines you. Any part of your identity, whether that is LGBTQ+, whether that is neurodivergence, whether that's um, your social economic background, don't think that it has to hold you back. Actually, if you bring your full authentic self to work, that is how you thrive and everybody benefits from it as well.